Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This is going to be a guide on setting up the RV mods so that you can live as a nomad inside Project Zomboid and live inside your RV. This is going to be a complete raw video so I can go through all the steps. You can see everything I'm doing so you don't miss anything. So bear with me on this. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is not boot up Project Zomboid. You want to go onto Steam and you want to go onto the community tab and you want to click on workshop. And we're going to go down to this search bar here. We're going to search for Project Zomboid. And we're going to go click on that. And then here we are. We're in Spiffo's workshop. This is the Project Zomboid workshop. So we're going to go into this search bar here. We're going to search for the letter R and the letter V for RV. Yes. Awesome. Now, you can add these mods by simply pressing the little plus here. But I'm going to quickly click on each of these just so you can see them properly. So this first one is RV Interior by Maxwelt. Now, if I click on this, this is what it looks like. It's, uh, you know, been updated 18th December uh, 2023. So this is the first one we want. This unlocks the interior of the, uh, the different large vehicles in the game. So let's go ahead, hit subscribe on that. And that is going to add to the game. You can see it updating down here, which is awesome. Let's go ahead, click back. And in this same area, we can actually see another one we need, which is Monkey's Star Scenario, RV Nomad. So let's go ahead and open this one too. This one will allow us to spawn in the middle of nowhere uh, with our RV. So let's also subscribe to this one. And awesomely, this um, tells you you need additional items. So it also requires Monkey's Star Scenario dash base and filibuster rhymes used cars. Now, we need all of these because without all of them, it's not going to work properly. So let's go ahead and hit subscribe to all. And then once those are finished getting completed, we're going to go ahead and boot up Project Zomboid. If you don't get the option to add all of them by doing it my way, you can simply search for each of the individual mods in this search bar. Or you can also just find in my description, I'll have the links to the ones that you know, are currently relevant. But I mean, if you're watching this in a year's time, they may have been updated. So you might need to do a little bit of searching. It's best to do this manually and check everything anyway, just to make sure you're happy with it. You know, someone's not trying to do something scummy, but um, yeah, you should be sweet. So let's go ahead and boot up Project Zomboid. Once you've booted up Project Zomboid, go ahead and click on the mods section. Once we've opened up the mods section, we're gonna search for the different mods that we installed. So let's scroll down. We search for RV interior, and this is the latest version we can see. You might get a few others. You can ignore these ones. These are, uh, I think, old files. But let's go with the one that looks like it's the latest. And we're gonna search for monkeys start scenario, RV nomad. And these are, uh, also have the required ones within it so if we enable the rv nomad one it will automatically enable the two that we also need which was the filibuster rhymes used cars and the monkey start scenario base which is awesome so once that's done and we've enabled all four mods that we need let's go click back project zomboid will reload the menu lua so we will just wait for that and then once it's reloaded we'll click on solo We'll pick a play style. Obviously, we don't want to do a challenge with these ones enabled. So we'll go to Survivor. And we've got a new spawn location here because we've enabled it. So we're going to click on the vehicle, Nomad 1. And we're also going to get some extra traits. The most important one is the RV Nomad 1. This will allow us to start as a Nomad with an RV. So let's click that. And you can see there in the description, I'm going to hover over it. It says, start as a Nomad with an RV. And it says use with monkey start scenario vehicle nomad spawn location so these are dependent on each other so let's add that trait now we also get two other traits um, one you can spawn with all the tools for fixing the rv and the other one you can get yourself camping gear but they're not important but they're just cool to have you'll also get two new occupations you know that are related to vehicle nomading you can completely leave these off these aren't important the only important one is the rv nomad trait this one that costs two points. So we're gonna go ahead and click next here. We're gonna go and choose our character and we're gonna hit play. 
And there we go. We've spawned. We are actually sort of we spawn like inside the RV a little bit. Let's uh let's go out here. So as you can see, we've got our RV. In our inventory, we have the key for it. So we can go ahead and we can just press E when we're next to it to hop in. And if we hold V, we'll get different options here. We can switch seat to the driver's seat. We can turn it on, turn it off. And we can also press V and click enter here. And this will enter us into the back of the RV. And uh, this is where the mod to enable the interior works. We have a working fridge, we have a working uh, microwave, all this stuff's happening. And these interiors seem to be randomized uh, every time you load in. Not not every time you load in, but every time you create a new character. So um, just something to, to note, which is really cool. And you can customize these. You can completely gut this out and customize it however you want, just like a normal house, which is really cool. If you want to exit, I usually just hover on a wall like this one here and right click and then click exit. And we're back, back in our driver's seat. The fog of war still seems to appear, but um, that's that. You'll spawn us a little bit of fuel, and, um, and you can start your journey. These things hold a lot of uh, a lot of storage, so don't be shy. Grab a lot of gear, check out places, and live on the road. I hope this little tutorial helped. If you did spawn and there was just a shadow on the ground, it might be because you've got conflicting mods, you know, causing issues. So my advice would be to, you know, delete or, you know, remove all the mods that you've got currently running within the menu that we enabled. Just completely remove them all, start from scratch, add the four RV mods that we needed and go from there. If, if that works and it starts working, then you're sweet and you can slowly add your other mods back and hopefully, you know, go from there. Um, but if it doesn't work, I don't know how to help you, so good luck.